Welcome back to Vice Grip Garage. It's colder outside than Lizzie Borden's heart, which makes it a perfect day to, you know, wash a rig down. So today I think we're gonna pressure wash my 1979 Camaro. And this was actually a true barn find. She'd been sitting for about 21 years. I did get her running, but I think I just, I shoveled her too much coal and Well, anyway, we ended up trailing her back home and she's been sitting here for going on about another year now and I think it's just about time we do something with it, you know? First step is always just clean them down, see what we actually got, and then we can come up with some ideas. I just can't see nothing. I think I'm snow blind. Here's a guy's professional setup. Got it for my birthday last year, just cracked her open today. She's a Sunjo 2000 and, you know, don't let the dryer dial fool you. She spits out about 45 pounds of pressure. And if you're curious, which you're not, I'm sure it was the cheapest one on Amazon. And then here's my water setup over here. Just like everything else around the shop, I'm on a budget, you know. I lost 15 pounds, I was running some deer down in the tree row and the lever got kicked off on the tailgate here. So I've only got about 50 gallons. The average guy uses about 80 to 100, so we're gonna have to pay attention to her, which is just, you know, that's a notch above, I don't care. So I think the first thing we'll do is pop the power barn and put some juice on the engine and then we'll, you know, soap her down and see what we got. But what we're after is, Getting all the scale and dirt and I don't even know what it, half of this stuff is. It's just, it's, we gotta get it off and see what the paint looks like underneath. And then we'll do kind of the rust evaluation. And then come up with some ideas. Kind of want to paint it. One thing I just don't like about this year of Camaros is you gotta be a dang gymnast to get the hood open. Well, where are you then? And you got a lift. Oh yeah, there's more junk. Ran out of my gunk, so I'm just gonna give her some purple power. A lot of people dilute these down, but I'm just gonna give her all. This is a little 305, and she barked a little bit, then I'm not quite sure what happened. We'll figure that out here pretty soon. I just wanna get all the crap out of here, so. Guy doesn't get so greasy working on it, you know? Well, let's start with the engine bay and see what that has to tell us.
This is all starting to come back to a guy's memory now. Had some arcing on that firewall and you can see the HEI wire I zipped in there to make that work. Fuel lines kinked up real good. It's got so many darn vacuum lines in here. AC pumps just kind of, you know, laying in there. What I'm saying is, you know, she needs a lot of work. But I take it back, this Wang Lee sprayer, she's, it's doing fine. And we're budgeting. I mean, that's, we've, we're down to what, 45? We only used five, six gallons. We're golden. I think we can get the rest of the spray down now, see what we got. The only issue a guy's dealing with today is gravity feeding a pressure washer. Well, 98.27% of the time, that just, it doesn't work. And if you ever lived off of a well, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, pss, yeah, pss, yeah, pss, yeah, my whole life. <laughs> Pretty sure we're gonna be bucket washing. Let me just see if I can get some suds on her at least. Well, 48 days later, got some suds down her back anyway. I think I'm gonna use this tire brush here. Normally I'd use the quad zero steel wool, but I'm out of inventory. These bristles, you know, they're soft enough, but See, I'm thinking it's going to get that stuff off the hood roof and the deck lid anyway. And then we'll probably end up just wiping her down. We'll see. Well, we'll see some dirt kind of scooting down here and maybe that color will shoot out a little bit better. See if we can shoot this stuff out of here. Yeah, that'll clean up nice. That's really good, seeing how it's smashed out of there. We want to save on this. Well, she's starting to come out of her. That's a lot worse than I remember her being, but you know how it goes. I keep getting all this dirt and mud out of this trim and got to keep rewashing her, you know. That's, that's annoying. 
tail lights knocked out of her. I think I'm gonna get her on the wheel well some more. Then try to shoot up underneath the undercarriage so we can kind of actually see what's going on. And then I might have to try to roll this or push it up into the gravel. Didn't really think about that too much, but laying in the wet grass trying to hook my peepers under it, that doesn't sound too fun. Guy destroyed his back in two different countries and it took nine hours, but I got her scooched back into the shop here. See, I live in a state where it snows 19 times in April. I don't remember why I've got a distributor and three caps and all that, but that's okay. I'm going to turn that into an oil pump primer 9000 tool. I did remember that I think I had a charging issue. I put the digital meter on the whirly box down here and I think it was shooting lighting out, but it wasn't enough to charge the battery. So I think we got a wiring issue to deal with as well. But anyway, let's see what the trim tag says we're supposed to have. Uh, let's see, we got 79 Corsets Camaro. Uh, O2A, that's first week of February. One is Chevy, F is Camaro, Q is uh, Sport Coupe, 87's hard top, L is Los Angeles. The rest of this is just random digits that identify the body, but this is what we're wanting. 24R is light blue vinyl, and then 22L is light blue lower, and 22U would be light blue upper. So it wasn't a two-tone, and she was a light blue flavor. So let's take a look at the paint and body and see what we really got going on here. This fender has been, you know, she's been changed on because that's like a silver. And then the actual factory color. You always go to the trunk for them. And that's that kind of like, I don't know what it is. A baby blue. Something like that. And it's got this weird I don't, royal dark plum. I don't know what to do with my hands kind of blue. I don't know. It's ugly. I don't like it. And it's definitely a single stage enamel and they didn't even bother to prime it. Like you can see that here. Well, light's kind of bad, but they just shot right over the, the factory color. So she's flaking through everywhere. And the pressure washer's blowing it off the nose cone here. So there's not a lot of paint on her. I mean, she's, it's thin. It's real thin. And I don't know, would it buff out? I think it would. It just, you know, we're gonna eat through it in some places, so we gotta, we gotta keep that in mind. But there's also some rust on this thing we gotta look at. Well, this is, I don't know, I think that's factory. I got a mouse living in there, I better leave it alone. On the captain's side, we got a little weight reduction over here, so I think she's made to go left. But the drinker side, this is nice and solid. I do have a little bit of rot behind the valance back here. There's a piece that shoots across along there. Over the wheel well is fine. It's gonna need some work down here. Looks like a little bit of bondo has already been had and you know, some stuff over there. And then this looks like she's already full of mud. Both the body work kind and then, you know, there's wet dirt as well. And the other side's pretty much the same. I think this fender is better. Uh, well, a little bit. And just, you know, there. Rocker's good. And then a little patch down there. But, I mean, the rest of this is, you know, she's, it's... Well, the interior here, she needs some help. I mean, it's just... It's not good. It smells like inside of a gerbil cage and Ritz crackers. It's just, it's not, it's not nice. But I think these door panels, you know, we can save on these. The dash and everything's okay. Steering wheel has got to go through the dishwasher about 17 times. It's got that sticky, you know, there's some sort of science that comes out of these and it just, it's not pleasant. Center console will keep that. 
Seats need to be recovered, and this one's broken. I mean, it's stuck in Tupac mode. It's just all the way back. And then recently, the mouse living in the tail light, he ate through my seat. Dang it! So the back seat's gotta be done. And then of course, carpet. The worst part and the most expensive is the rear armrests and then the plastic that goes around it. I mean, it's just, it's not gooder. It needs a lot of help and it's very expensive, all this plastic stuff. Especially the A-pillars up here, not cheap. Socks rolled up in my boot and I just don't like it. I tried to dig up some more info on the old girl here, so I ran the license plate at the Car Fox store and she came up with a 2015 Impala. Nope. I think they started at 81 and went up from there. But anywho, what we got is just, she's just a base Camaro, 305 auto. Doesn't even have any options really other than just final seats and air conditioning. So if I'm looking forward to making $9.87 selling this thing, there's no room for paint, I don't think, because we'd have to fix the rust to do it, right? You can't just paint it and leave the trunk and underside. So I think the guy's going to jam his money into the interior. And if I added up all the parts right, we're talking... 14, 1500 bucks by the time we're done, and then that's it, you know. And then maybe we can waste a little bit more money and put an intake and carburetor on her and get rid of all the vacuum mess and maybe even bolt up the AC and see if that works. Run the buffing wheel down here, and then of course figure out some different tires and wheels, and then that's got to be it. I mean, anyway, let me know what you think if you've got some ideas. Put them down there in the comment box, or if you just have any questions or whatever else, bleep bloop them down there. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you're interested in a back rag or a calculator, hit the website. Or maybe you might be interested in memberships, there's a link down there for that too. If you haven't subscribed, I would really, really appreciate that. Just, you know, hit that button. Thank you all for watching, I appreciate it very much. We'll see you next time.